Welcome to Job Skills Share. This is Danish, and I am going to continue our IT career question series on our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com. Search Job Skills Share, click on playlist, and then click on IT career questions um, playlist. And in this video, I will be talking about one of the the things that a lot of people are confused and especially when people come to our uh, platform and then usually they will start questioning us that you know um, hey you know I'm looking for uh, I'm looking to become a systems administrator um, then it, it's confusing because then we have to ask that member um, or a user that okay a systems administrator did you already research and is this the first title that you're uh, applying for do you know that there's something uh, uh, you know um, there's something uh, like you know there's another step before that and that's help desk and some people are like what are you talking about um, I just because I saw something like systems administration entry level so I want to I want to apply to that because it's an entry level position so then we know that the member actually don't know the process or uh, you know they don't have too much knowledge about IT career and the, the trends and the skills and different type of levels uh, so then we have to kind of like you know lead them to the first uh, you know title that we teach like you know you want to hey you know you're going to be doing help desk to actually become a system administrator that's the that's the the normal way of becoming a systems administrator or a, a little bit higher positions in it um, um or someone will just come and say i know what I know what help this is. I looked into all of these videos, uh, and by by looking at their skills, by looking at their environment, by looking at your videos, that the real world videos, I actually don't want to do that. I want to do systems administration because I like that. So then we we'll, we basically kind of like you know say okay, you you can take these type of courses, but but that's not going to be easy position for you to land and that's the reality behind it so let's talk about it and let's get real let's say you go to indeed.com and you just go in and, and just type systems administrator and i have mentioned this many times that there's nothing about you know there's no standard with titling now of course systems administrator uh and you know help desk and a lot of bigger companies they put titles and they put everything in perspective like you know in a in a nice uh matching way but some companies don't care about that and here's a perfect example of this this that this company um systems administrator level one and then their requirement is what they want you to know about what they want you to know about uh, creating accounts documentation answering the help desk calls answering help desk calls okay uh, you know inventory uh, help desk experience and so they're calling you a system administrator while normally this is not considered to be a system administrator title this to me if you ask me if, if there's a a person who has spent 15 to 20 years in IT they will tell you that this is actually a wrong title but again, they will tell you that there's there's no concept of that, so they can they can do whatever they want to. They can name it, and then they may even even pay you uh, the 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 real system administrator. You know how much they're making in DMV area. Look at the market right now, and we just this is the end. Uh, this is the starting of e the starting of a year. A lot of a lot of people have done the salary thing, so there will be a, around seventy five to eighty right now in DMV area. And that's a kind of like you know from entry level to experienced people, and the more experience you get in system administration, the more you make. I know people that are making above 100k in system administration because they know something unique. Then their skills are so specific that a company actually really, really want these type of people to know their stuff right so uh, i just wanted to prove that you know there's no there's nothing like that so you can go to the company don't just stick to one title like help this you can start applying for it but but take our courses so then you know these things you know the differences between you know what this company is actually going for what what, what do they mean by system administration but we look at their their uh, details and you know that this is kind of like a company that they they call you a system administrator but the job is going to be like a help this job that is that is the reality now if you go a little bit above let me just show you another example let's say for example this company it's called your systems administrator now this is a good detail for a systems administrator and that's where majority of the systems administrator positions you're going to be dealing with this kind of stuff and that is why we say that my suggestion to you will be not applying to system administration 
uh, you know, positions, even though somewhere, even in our platform, when we call a learning path, it says system administration entry level. That doesn't mean an entry level to just start your IT career with. It is like after the help desk entry level is there's entry level skills that you need to learn and that's why you are entry level systems administrator then you move up you you become more advanced you know with your troubleshooting you become more advanced with your knowledge and then you basically become a senior or level two level three type of systems administrator but if you go over these details these are these are hitting the right areas for a systems administrator for example and this it says technical issues which we already know but it says as well as as well as virtual environments built on citrix microsoft and vmware for a system administrator you're not just dealing with servers anymore <laughs> it's going to be you know uh, foolish for someone to think that i'm just going to take uh, mcsa and i'm going to do like installing a server and i'm going to play around with the server a little bit and then you be all of a sudden you become a system admin that's not going to be true you're going to be working very little on server unless you get hired by a company and you're doing just servers that's now i'm not talking about that i'm talking about just a normal company hired you as a systems administrator and now what are their expectation from you the expectation is going to be then you need to know a lot a lot about environments a lot about different type of environments where these servers are in, in basically running and that's going to be your virtual environment or a cloud environment like this like Azure or Amazon so you can see right now just to give you a real-world example right here that look at this information right here now if you're brand new to IT how are you going to deal with a SQL database how are you going to deal with the virtual machines and then how are you going to build a network for these virtual machines meaning you need to know about networking now you need to know about subnetting you need to know about virtual networks you need to know about monitoring it you need to know about azure Active directory what the hell is that you know so the thing is this that my 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 video uh is the outcome of this video is to let you know that if you land a job as a system administrator which i said in my first video that you can actually land a job any IT support type of jobs, you can land it by knowing people and things like that. But then I always say there's a disadvantage to that. There's a there's going to be a stress disadvantage that you're not going to know this stuff. If somebody says, we're moving to Azure uh, or we moved to Azure, maybe you, you went to the company and they're, they're hybrid, which a lot of companies are right now. And then they say that, you know, there's an application that's running on the Azure and then you need to do something in that application, do this, do that. Remember that, you know, it's it's going to be a very hard for you to catch up with these things if you're brand new to to IT, you know, and you're trying to get into these type of positions. So my recommendation for you is this, that you need to start with the help this uh, type of, uh, you know, uh, courses first, because you need to know networking, you need to know uh, firewall, you need to know virtualizations, you need to know um, many different things, cloud technologies, because everything is moving towards that. You need to know all of that. And how, how are we basically de dealing with that? The way we design our help desk courses, if you come over here, and this is the help desk course that we we'll tell a lot of people to start with, and then there's actually a new one, uh, fundamental courses for premium members, but the free one is also very powerful. Let's say, for example, let's go over it. This is not about just ticketing system. You just go there, assign some tickets, and take some calls. We're not talking about that. We're making you a real IT person. So if you go down and look into these information right here, look virtualizations active directory documentation office 365 software deployment imaging inventory operating systems and we even talk about servers a little bit here and ser um, uh, uh, security uh, and server client type of uh, you know information and then you go on and on and on and on and you know this is you're actually you're actually when you do this kind of stuff so you you get you are like a little ahead of that just a normal help this person who who went through a plus type of cer uh, certification and that's just got a job now you're you're we prepared you uh, like mentally you're getting prepared for that transition one of the hardest things for a lot of help desk people, they cannot move from help desk when they start as a help desk. That's because nobody told them how to actually use or utilize or learn things so then in future you can easily transition to the systems administration uh, type of titles. So again, the video is about telling you uh, that starting with this type of stuff like, you know, uh, uh, Windows Server Exchange, SQL SharePoint, right away or thinking about that 
uh, is, is actually not a good way to start. So if you're brand new to this, uh, this career, then this is what you're dealing with. So let's, let me show you one real world example right now. So an example is this, that I am on the server right now. I am actually on the server. So first of all, as a system administrator, you need to know a lot about roles and everything, right? So you need basically you need to, you need to know about the, the stuff like that. Let's say active directory, everything that, that you see the DNS, of course, DNS DHCP is like the core. You need to know about that or else, you know, your system administration, if somebody call you a system administrator, that's great. But if you don't know this kind of stuff, then I don't know what kind of things are you doing that you're still you're still going to be easily doing your job. Most likely you will leave this job or maybe you will lose the job because if you don't know the core stuff like that, you know, because you deal so much with the DNS and DHCP stuff as a system admin that you can't get away from this stuff. And then you will be dealing with something like web configs. You're doing like applications, you know, there's an application, the content editors, the developers are working on the, you know, on the, on the, the code and everything. But then there will be something that you will, you will be working with them and you will be, you will be doing, uh, you know, you, you would, you would need to know a little bit, a little bit about the code on how to implement the things that will be mattering, that will matter to you. And again, uh, right now you'll be like, what, what the hell are you talking about? So let me show you a real world example. Let's say, for example, you're a system administrator, you just got hired and this company have a website and the website is like this. And then all of a sudden they just got an error. You know, something happened. Something happened to the web config. Number one, you need to know a lot about web config as a system administrator. So if you're new to this type of job, and then this could come up the next day you just got hired and now you have a nice red error in front of you like this. And then you're like, okay, whoa, okay, you know, how do I, first of all, how do I get to this one web config? Let's say you found that out. Then, you know, you'll be like, okay, how do I troubleshoot this? Then you need to know this stuff. How are you going to troubleshoot it when it says the Active Directory role provider? Now you're going to be like, what is this? Like how you need to know about this stuff because you need to know about your your environment you need to know now about active directory over here the, by connecting this 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 uh, this username is this working actually by actually you know what does this mean by connection string is there something that i need to know about the connection and where is it actually connecting how do i know that i put the right information in the web config to connect to my active directory when i say active directory i'm talking about the active directory that this this uh, application is authenticating itself right now let's say for example this is my active directory did i did i put the right information in my web config to for this uh, uh, for this to work so th this is what i'm talking about so you basically will go to your web config let me just open this web config right now and let's say if i open this web config how are you going to find this information so for example i come over here and i look into it okay yeah th there you go this is the service account that it, this was using so i understand this i'm gonna go down and then you know find all this information now i'm not saying that you are going to know every single thing about web configs most of this stuff is kind of like you know web developers work on it too but as a system administrator you will be you should know about 40 you will be like you will be forced to, to know about 40 to 50 percent of the web config stuff because this is running from the servers and usually what happens is that people will be requesting some type of changes uh, and that could involve you in this perfect example uh, you know this example would be like i want to log in i want to log into this uh, this website and i want you to integrate active directory users meaning all these users in active directory right here should be able to log into this application then you are involved you because you as a system administrator you are the main person that actually manages active directory then you need to know the permissions of these OUs. you need to know the permissions of the users then you need to basically create service accounts you need to talk you need to know about the firewalls you need to know do all that stuff uh, you know uh, just for that one simple call and what is the call the call is that integrate active directory with this application now remember if that if that kind of question comes to you as a new person brand new person how are you going to know all of this stuff uh, you know and it's not going to be easy this is not something that you can just go start googling around and, and you're going to be like you know yeah you'll get away with once or twice but this is going to give you so much stress that i feel like you're you're just gonna you know give up on this type of positions uh so my uh the, the reason i'm showing these examples and to show you some of the real stuff is that uh, this is important for someone brand new to IT career. 
because you can't just jump into this stuff without knowing the networking, virtual networking, virtualizations, cloud, uh, firewalls, the way everything is connected, uh, the way authentication works, the way Active Directory works, or other login databases, all that kind of stuff. If you don't know this, most of your job as a system administrator, most of the stuff that you're going to be dealing with is going to be like this. And that's why I say don't start with this type of positions. If you want to start, like I said, in IT, anything is possible. So, but with stress. Thank you so much. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I'll make up another video and uh, let's see what another topic will be, but it's going to be in our.